I was really passionate about making change in the world. I knew I wanted to do something environmental, but I didn't really know what. I remember just seeing environmental rollback after rollback after rollback. I was very pissed off about climate change. I came to the realization we didn't have time to wait to deal with these problems. The only way that we are going to change things is if we get out and we fight for it. I thought Green Corps would be the biggest challenge. Choosing to do Green Corps was one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. Um, and it was a risk at the time because I didn't know a whole lot about organizing. What I wanted to do was spend my life working to solve environmental problems and to do it um, through political organizing. I just didn't know how. Um, and when I learned that there was a program out there um, that would basically teach me the art and science of how to do that um, and pay me and then help me get a job um, and sort of launch this future career that I wanted, um, it seemed too good to be true. I was shipped down to Greenville, South Carolina to organize with Dogwood Alliance to protect endangered forests in the southeast. I went to work with Friends of the Earth. I was the Michigan field organizer for the Alaska Coalition. So we culminated the campaign with this rally in the state capitol in Concord and we got, we got 250 people to come from all over the state. And all of the longtime environmentalists told us about looking out the windows of the state capitol and watching the students marching up and the energy and enthusiasm that, that it gave them. My job was basically to launch this campaign um, to take on the state's biggest utility um, and clean up coal-fired power plants. We defeated multinational corporations who were bidding for the public water system. We were able to keep it in the hands of the people, the citizens of New Orleans. All of a sudden the CEO of Bowater comes storming into the room and he's just red-faced and he is carrying an email that I had written that day, in those negotiations, he agreed to stop logging in some of the most precious forests throughout the southeastern region. So that was really the first time in my organizing career where I saw very quickly and directly how if you mobilize grassroots support on these issues, you can actually see the result um, from your decision makers. We ended up you know, passing the nation's first um, uh, legislation to clean up coal-fired power plants and more importantly really actually change the political landscape in Connecticut. One of the best parts about Green Corps is the ability to learn a skill, so to sit in a classroom and hear from the best people how to do that skill and then get to go try it. We run our campaigns to win. We want to win social change for the world. We want to make the environment better. We want to make the world more just. And you have to be smart and strategic to do that. You have to choose just the right pressure point. You have to find just the right target. You have to find just the right argument. And you have to engage a lot of people and help them weigh in at just the right moment. I think um, I can think of a lot of examples in my career where um, the skills that I learned have really helped me to go, well, it's not just everything we could do here, but like here's the place where we could really make the most difference. I'm still organizing, so I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Green Corps. I wouldn't be able to do what I do now without what I learned in Green Corps. Green Corps affected, just set me on this trajectory to be where I am now as an organizer. I'm committed to being an organizer for life. My year in Green Corps really sparked a fire within me to continue organizing for my career. For every one of us that is uh, that's still organizing in some way, we would not be doing what we are doing or doing it half as well as we were doing it if it weren't for Green Corps. We're at a time in our history where the odds are really stacked against us. I think for too long, the environmental community has focused on policy before it's had enough power. A lot of the original environmental laws were passed before the Koch brothers and Exxon and special interests and polluting companies figured out how to create think tanks, how to fund campaigns, and how to really systematically take over our government. We as environmentalists, we don't have the money that the Koch brothers have, but we have the people that can influence the politicians and we have the people who can influence corporations. Organizing works and through bringing people together in smart strategies, we can take on some of the biggest problems that we're facing on the planet and win really meaningful change. Green Corps is bringing organizing back to the environmental movement. Green Corps is giving impassioned young people the skills to actually go out there and organize to make change happen and to help the world become a better place.